The Battle of Zelengora was the final battle between the partisans and the Chetniks that was fought between 12 and the 13th of May 1945. At the time of the battle, World War II in Europe had already officially ended and partisan units had reorganized into the Yugoslav army. Chetnik forces attempted to reach Serbia from Bosnia, through Zelengora, Dina, and Sanzak. The partisans prevented their attempt by creating a buffer zone in the area around River Borsna Kalinovic Motagica Travnik. The partisans were ultimately victorious, inflicting heavy losses to the Chetniks, who were de facto destroyed as a movement. Chapter 1 Background After his split with forces loyal to Povle Jurizic, Malovic's remaining Chetniks from Serbia and Bosnia relocated to the vicinity of Modrika in late March 1945. Durizic took his forces towards Slovenia, believing that Dmitry Aljotic could save them from destruction and unite them with the forces of Momsilo Dujic and Dobroslav Jevdovic. Ljotic was certain that an armed conflict between the Soviet Union and the Western Allies was inevitable. Malovic himself was in correspondence with Ljotic via radio, and also met a delegation sent by Ljotic and Hermann Neubacher, led by Ljotic's personal secretary Bosko Kostic and Milana Simovic, the former head of the Commissioner Government, and Minister of Interior in Nedic's Government of National Salvation. Kostic tried to persuade Malovic to join them, too, but Malovic refused. He agreed to send General Miodrog Damjanovic to Slovenia to take command of Serbian Quisling forces who were already there. Kostic returned with Damjanovic, while Asimovic decided to stay with Malovic. Malovic did not want to go to Slovenia due to false information given to him that purported Serbians were dissatisfied with communist rule. Malovic was fed this false information by Ozna, the security agency of Tito's partisans, which wanted to prevent Malovic from escaping Yugoslavia. Ozna had earlier obtained ciphers and call signs from killed Chetnik commander Prejurekovic, and, by January 1945, with the help of a former Chetnik radio telegraphist, was able to establish contact with and convince Malovic to believe that he was keeping correspondence with the genuine Chetnik mayor Trivan Kosik, who supposedly led skirmishes against Tito's partisans. Malovic was so taken by this facade that he unwillingly revealed to Ozna his plans to send groups of saboteurs and commandos over the Dina River. Ozna and Noge were subsequently able to capture or kill all the members of these groups. On the 13th of April, Malovic's Chetniks began their march, but, instead of going towards the lower course of the Dina River, where it was impossible to cross the river without boats at this part of year, they went westward along the eastern bank of the Sava River until they approached the mouth of the Vraz River. This course was supposed to mislead units of the Yugoslav army into thinking that the Chetniks were heading towards Slovenia. Malovic's plan didn't work, as his forces' movements were monitored meticulously by units of the Yugoslav army. On 15 April, Malovic's forces arrived in the area around Bosanski Brod and Derventa. The group suddenly turned south and southeast through the mountains, all the way to a point east of Konyets on the Naretva, then to the southeast in the direction of Kalinovic and Zelengora, and to the east, again towards Dina, to the point near village Brod, where it was possible to cross the river without difficulty. Along the way, Chetniks had skirmishes with Hoes, and arrived in the Fojnica region on 19 April. Chapter 2 Battle on 7 May, Malovic forces numbered some 5,000 to 6,000, among them a few hundred Bosnian Chetniks. However, at Zelengora only 3,000 to 4,000 men arrived, as a column led by Dragoslav Rasik separated and went towards Jahorina and Rogatica. In contrast to the Chetniks, the Yugoslav army was militarily superior, with artillery and an air force. The final battle between the Chetniks and the Yugoslav army was waged from 10 to 13 May. The Yugoslav army pushed the Chetniks into a high and steep gorge of the Jezerica River. The Chetniks were consequently exposed to land, artillery, and air attacks. During the descent and crossing of the river, the Chetniks were inflicted with heavy losses, a large number of men, all their horses, heavy equipment, 
archives and radio stations were destroyed, the latter interrupting the radio link between Mayalovich and Mayor Kosik. Only a few hundred Chetniks managed to survive, among them were Malovich and Nikola Kalabik. General Miroslav Trofunovich, Milana Simovic, Miodrob Palasovic, and Nesko Nedic, were a notable few among the dead. Chapter 3 Aftermath The battle was a decisive defeat for the Chetniks, after which they became groups of scattered men, chased by the Yugoslav army, Noj and Ozna. Malovich was able to evade capture and traps, set up by Yugoslav security forces, until he was caught ten months later by agents of Ozna, who disguised themselves as Chetniks and were led by his once most trusted ally, Nikola Kalabic. Chapter 4 Literature Tomasovic, Yozo. War and Revolution in Yugoslavia, 1941-1945, The Chetniks. Stanford, Stanford University Press. ISBN 978-08047-08579. Radarnovic, Milan. Kuznais Lossin, Snij Kolaboratia U Sabiji. Belgrad, Rosa Luxemburg Stiftung. ISBN 978 86